My name is Deborah, I am 12 years old. Since I lost my parents, this family took me and put me in school. And I am glad that they put me in school. And I want to be a doctor so that I can help other sick people outside. Way this family helped me, I appreciate. And I want you please to pray for me so that I can become some teacher. Thank you. Hello. Hello, dear Ventura Missionary Church family. We bring warm greetings to everyone. We're so excited to share what the Lord has been doing in the mission. Yes, I also have been meant, uh, doing one-on-ones with some few young people in our neighborhood. After building a relationship with them, I asked them about their salvation. And all of them were not sure about their salvation. So that was the time I got the opportunity to talk about the love of Christ, share the good news. And the good news is, three of them accepted Christ as their personal Savior, and we pray that prayer of salvation, and even right now, we are mentoring them, guiding them. I'm wearing this traditional Cameroonian dress because I want to tell you a powerful story that I recently heard about the Bambalang people, whom I first encountered years ago in the northwest province of Cameroon. Years went by before the translation was able to begin there. And then just after the Gospel of Luke had been translated, a dispute broke out over traditional burial lands with a neighboring group. They came and burned down 300 houses and displaced about 3,000 people. Uh, when the Gospel of Luke was printed and distributed among the Bambalang, that was the first message of hope that they heard after the tragedy. They were encouraged by Jesus' words to overcome their enemies by loving them in Luke 6, 27, which says, love your enemies and do good to those who hate you. One woman testified that when she heard the word of God in Bambalang for the first time, she was amazed. She said to read it in her own, her own language was like a dream. She learned that she should do for others what she would want others to do for her. So she decided that she couldn't hate those who burned down their houses and not forgive them because she would want people to forgive her. And a Bambalang pastor stated, Forgiveness can only come if God comes in. Hello, BMC. My name is Pastor Rene Matus. I'm the pastor of the La Peña Church here in Tijuana. And I am with Esteban. Esteban is a new believer. He's a new member of our church. And, and, and he came to our church. Uh, he was driving around and he saw the sign of the church. And he came to the church looking for hope. Uh, his background is uh, lack of peace, violence, drugs, a lot of bad things that still happen in our city. But I'm so proud of him because we have like 20 weeks already learning together about Jesus. And the things that God is doing in him, those are great things. So uh, this uh, for me, is uh, he's a great example of somebody who wants a change, a good change in his life. So he's doing good. Uh, now he has a smile and now he has hope. Esteban is, is one of many in our city that need Jesus. So thank you for praying for us. He's a real testimony of uh, Jesus. So thank you, BMC. And we are so uh, thankful, thankful for you guys. Thank you so much. Just wanted to share a quick story about something the Lord has done and is doing as we speak. And this summer we, we have this experience. It's, an, it's a week long encounter 
called Nico. And the word Nico means to overcome. And it's it's like a camp, but it's it's more of an experience. And so throughout this whole week, God was doing amazing things in these kids' lives. And just a few of the things I heard that took place, one was that one young man who is about 15 years old and has just came out of a horrible, horrible family situation. And earlier in the week, uh, there was a time when they were, everyone was praying and, and he wasn't praying every time they had prayer. And so they asked him, hey, you know, what's going on? And you see you're not praying and then what's, what's going on with that? And he said, yeah, I, I'm not praying because I don't believe in God. And, and, and when they talked a little more with him, he said, because he wasn't there for me when I needed him. And so, you know, they really began to embrace him, encourage him and just show the love of the Lord to him. And at the end of the week, one of the, one of the staff got hurt and, and uh, their, their leg was hurt or something. And, and this young man was like, hey, we need to pray for her. And, and he just begins to pray like, God, would you heal her? And, and everybody was surprised that just in a few days that something changed in his heart and he, he began to see that there is God and God does care. And, Hi, VMC. We're your missionaries in the Philippines. I'm Gordon. And I'm Grace. And uh, we're going to share one story among many about God's transforming love in our community. So we wanted to tell you one story and we chose Ashley to tell you about. We met Ashley about four years ago. She was 15 years old at that time. And she told us recently of how she met us. She remembered that one day she was coming back from school, coming back from high school, and she was walking into her community and she felt just so much joy going on and she was so curious about what in the world that joy was. And so the next moment she sees Grace come up to her, smiling and asking her, what is your name? <laughs> and so she said that was her, that was the beginning of her journey with Christ. And after that, her and many of the other youth began to join our fellowships in our home where we preached the gospel and the foundations of Christ. And it was during that time that she gave her life to the Lord. And since then, she has just grown immensely as a leader. Mm -hmm. uh, she's taken the opportunity and she told us that our fellowships here have been the, the training ground for her to become a leader. And she said that before, she she gave her life over to the Lord. She just felt worthless. Mm -hmm. And since uh, coming into a relationship with Christ and being a part of, of this ministry, she said that uh, she, she feels inspired. And even now, whenever she's down, she remembers that we're rooting for her. Mm -hmm.